Hello everyone, and welcome back to Benchmark 2. In the last episode, in the last couple of episodes, we've been building ourselves a little house inside of the mountain here. And I am quite happy with it actually, I think it's looking pretty cool. It is inspired by this geode, oh, that's some pillagers there. It's inspired by this geode here, with the black, whites and the blues. And I'm trying to get that theme into the entire base. And I think I've done a decent job with it, with it looking quite nice. But in today's episode, we are wanting to actually move over here. Because at this point in time, we still have all of our stuff back over at the old village. So I'll meet you over there and we'll start grabbing some stuff. Okay, so here we are at the old house here. The massively cramped little shack I've got here. So the first thing we're going to need absolutely is all of my power. Because right now, I am running powerless at my new place. So we're just going to grab all of these solar panels, all of the cables. I'm probably going to need a lot more cables to be honest, so maybe I shouldn't remove all of my power just yet, because I may need some to make some more cables. So these glass fibre cables, how do we make them? So I think we're using ruby dust, weren't we? So ruby dust, redstone and glass. Okay, I think I have enough to get it done. So let's grab 24 redstone. Okay, and we'll just we'll make ourselves a lot of these, just because we have a lot of power to transport. Oh, I didn't grab enough glass. That's fine, I can make some more of that if needed. So we've got all of these machines here, we should grab them all and take them. So I'm going to need to empty them first, grab all of their stuff. I've still got a little generator there, I didn't even realise that. Okay, so that's everything, we'll just chuck it in these chests. Transporting all of this stuff is going to be an absolute pain. Take it all. Including the giant blast furnace, which if I remember correctly has a couple of buckets of lava in the middle. So where are my buckets? I know I have a couple somewhere. God, my system out here is an absolute mess. Okay, where's my drill? There. Alright, didn't get burnt, we're good. That bucket of lava got burnt though, what the hell? <laughs> That's annoying. Okay, we'll take the rest of this. All right, so we've got all of our main machines. Let's take them. Where's my wand? Right there. Here we go. Back at the old place. So I've planned to have my solar panels up here. So I guess we'll just start placing them in right about here. I'll probably make it look nice at some point, but for now, let's just get them in. Get the power down to the base. Okay, there are all our solar panels in place. They can all see the sun. It's perfect. So now I just need to get them. Get the power down. And then I just need to dig straight down. Small tunnel, that's what I need. And that gets in behind the walls. That works out all right. And all we need to do is get ourselves underneath here and up in the middle of our floor somewhere. Sure, that works, why not? Okay, we don't quite have enough cables for it all, unfortunately, but let's start placing these machines out. So we're going to need the MFE. It's going to be 
in the ground, I suppose. Are there covers to cover up cables? That's what I need to know. Cable covers or anything? I think I've seen some at some point. Let me see if I can find any. I've just spent such a long time looking through and I cannot find any way of concealing these covers. That's as far as we've gotten, by the way, so we do need, definitely do need more. But I can't see any way of covering that, which is really just annoying, to be honest. We're in a modded, a massively modded world here. Loads of mods, and not one of them can conceal the cables. That's just annoying. Anyway, let's just get these machines placed in. So, obviously the blast furnace is, is a bit of a bigger one. So, I guess maybe even that one should be in a wall. I don't know. Or maybe not, maybe we have it on display. I don't know. Let's just place it here in the middle. Uh, I'm thinking it's just going to look weird. I need to get these machines placed in. But I haven't properly thought it through. See, I said I was going to do them in the middle of the room, but some of these machines get quite big. Maybe I need a bigger room? Let's just place in some machines. So let's get like all the main ones in. So, all of these, I'm just going to, I don't even know what they are, I'm just going to place them in no particular order. Okay, well there's a whole bunch of machines, and I've got the industrial ones here. I've also got the MFE. So I, I think I'm going to do it like this. So I'll hide cables underneath here for the most part, but then obviously for some of them, like for this, because I want this to be accessible from the top, but then that means I'm going to have to one, have one cable go in and one cable go out. Or maybe I just won't have it. Maybe I'll just have this dedicated for my jetpack. I don't really know. And then we've got the industrial machines where they all need like a bit more going on, hoppers and stuff. I've really not thought this through very well. I could maybe stick the blast furnace in here, or maybe even like back here in the wall. I have no idea. Okay, so I've decided to put it in here, but I don't think that's going to be a permanent spot for, for all these big machines. I think I'm going to have a, another floor upstairs, or maybe even downstairs or somewhere, but it's going to be a massive open area with loads of big machines. But for now, they'll be fine in here. So I do need to get myself some more of these cables. So what is the best way of doing it? Looks like electrum and diamond dust is probably the best way of going about this because you get eight per craft. So electrum dust we can do can't we? That was just silver and gold. I already have six electrum, but let's just grind down some silver and some gold. And then diamonds. So where's the grinder? This one. Where did you come from? Is there a cave up here? Uh, yes, I think it's probably a bit dark up there. Okay, and then where's the combiner? Are you done already? Oh shit, you've run out of power. Compressor. Alloy smelter, that'll be it. God, these machines use up a lot of power. Power which I do not currently have. MFE. You need to go in front of the grinder. That's fine, I'll be okay. And then I need a lot of glass as well. Luckily I have a whole bunch 
of cobblestone. I can make myself some furnaces. Do you know what? I'll even make them iron. There we go. Two iron furnaces. And then I just need a whole bunch of sand. Okay, we've got ourselves everything we need here just to make a whole bunch of cables. And that should hopefully be enough to get all the power into all of our machines. Okay, so all the machines are plugged in and charged now. I'm charging my jetpack as we speak. Now we just need to get the rest of our stuff here into the chest. So we need to get ourselves some chests prepared. But the problem is, we don't really have any gold for the chest. So what's storage? Advanced storage, expanded storage. What other options are there? We can do barrels and stuff. I think iron, I think barrels could be a good, cool way to store things, but then I still need the gold. Gold, that's the problem. Okay, I've got myself a whole bunch of gold, a whole bunch of iron, a little bit of diamond as well is overall quite successful. I did use up all of my food, so I'm pretty screwed here. I hate these this phase leap enchantment. It just it's really annoying. Have I got anything to eat at all? There's some raw duck, was it? Goose. Raw goose. I'll just smelt that up. And then I want to hammer these iron down. Can I do that in the grinder, I wonder? So that's the best, uh, that's just 50% chance there. Pulverizing, but I can't grind it, that's annoying. No, not you. Yeah, it doesn't grind. Did say it was centrifuge though, didn't it? But not into either. It's nothing, there's no iron there. Right, so I guess I'm stuck going back home. I haven't. I didn't take my jetpack with me. That's still charging in here. Taking it. Oh, that's why it's taking so long to charge. I haven't yet. Like, oh, wandering trader. Well, I haven't yet marked this. That's my problem. So like this whole area here. I guess over there as well. That's all something I want to chunk load. Because that is my base. Damn, my jetpack could have been so much more charged right now. But anyway, yeah, I've not been using that. I've been using my wand because I've been getting really used to some of these spells. The wand is actually quite good for traversing around and fighting. Especially this lunge spell because it, it stops you from taking full damage for a brief period. Where's the portal? Oh, sorry. I, I do have to be careful of that though. My explosions when I land does harm people. Right, here we go. So I came here to hammer some stuff. Have I got hammers? I've got some hammer, yeah. Let's go. Hammer. Loads of iron dust. Let's get rid of some of these stupid blocks here. It'd be nice if there's a way to automate this, but I don't know that there is. Head back home and make a whole bunch of gold chests. Again, I can use my wand. Teleport back home, and then we've got the electric furnace here. I'm going to go with a whole bunch of gold. And then we've got these two furnaces back here. Which can have more. Right, I've gone out and collected myself some food as well. I was hoping to get a pet, but oh well. So I've got some gold, and I just need to upgrade a whole bunch of chests as well. So let's get ourselves a few bits of iron. Right, my inventory is so cramped, but I don't really have anywhere to put it, unfortunately. 
I need a whole bunch of wood. All right, I just got a whole stack of wood from one tree. So now, let's make some barrels. I think the barrels will look nice. That's a pretty big barrel. How much would it cost to upgrade that? Just a couple diamonds and some glass. Let's go for it. Give me that. Well, crap, that breaks it. Just wasted a whole bunch of gold. Oh, I need to empty my inventory. Jesus. Okay, let's just throw some stuff away for a second. I'll pop it all in chests shortly. Okay, but iron blocks. Let's just get the rest of these ones upgraded. Boom, diamond barrels. And to upgrade those, I just need some obsidian. Okay. I can go get some obsidian, that won't be that hard. Well, it might be hard without bloody inventory space. What does the upgrade cost? Banded. Am I, am I going to need a whole diamond to get the diamond to obsidian upgrade? Yes, I will need a diamond. So I will not be wasting my diamond. I'm just going to go straight across. Okay, I just got myself a couple stacks of obsidian. Let's do a size comparison. We've got about one and a half slots extra on the side and then nine high. So is it going to be... Oh, I need an axe. I need an axe. Don't waste anything else, you moron. I know I've got a saw back home which I can use, but I will just make a little axe for the time being. Round those with obsidian. And are they any bigger? No, they're the exact same size as the diamond ones. Oh well, they're probably just like blast resistant or something. Which is fine by me. Okay, so I am going to end the episode here. And between this one and the next one, I'll get, grab all my stuff and organise it into these nine barrels here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you then. Goodbye.